When sculpting in ZBrush, you can break down the creation process into three different stages. The first is the creation of a low polygon base mesh that contains the general volume of the model. The second stage, achieved a few subdivision levels later, is where you sculpt in the main form. Things like muscles and distinct facial features come out at this stage. The third stage in the sculpting process is one where you add in all the finer details, things like skin pores and wrinkles. This third stage of sculpting that encompasses all of the finer details can be achieved either through standard subdivisions or HD subdivisions. If you plan on reaching this stage through standard subdivisions, then depending on the topology of your model, you will be adding the finer detail once you reach a couple million polygons. And of course, if needed, you can press Ctrl D and divide your model even further. If you'll be using HD subdivisions to add all of the finer details to your model, then you will want to make sure that your max standard subdivisions are set no higher than about a million to a million and a half polygons. Making sure that you keep your max standard subdivisions at this level will greatly optimize your HD subdivisions, allowing for more efficient HD sculpting as well as faster creation of normal and displacement maps from the HD data. Once you've sculpted in all of your rough form at about a million polygons or so, you can then start adding HD subdivision levels in order to reach poly counts that allow for some of the finest details. You can then create normal, displacement, and texture maps which contain all of the HD sculpting and painting information. With this current tool created by ZBrush artist Adam Bolton, you will notice that I have six standard subdivisions here in the geometry submenu located in the tool palette. Underneath the geometry submenu is the HD geometry submenu. If I open that up, I can press Divide HD a few times in order to add a few HD subdivision levels to my mesh. After pressing Divide HD, you won't see any changes on your model right away. That's because we're still in the highest standard subdivision level. And in this case, if I look at my active point count here at the top of the screen, I can see that this mesh is at about 800,000 polygons. Right below the active point count, we can see total point count. And in this case, because of my new HD subdivision levels, we have 13 million polygons. To enter HD sculpting and painting, you will need to hold your cursor over the part of the model that you want to enable HD for. Then press the letter A. After a moment of processing, you will enter HD mode. You can see the lighter area where you can sculpt and paint HD information. The darker area is temporarily masked off from use. To exit HD sculpting and painting, simply press the letter A again. Take notice that to the right of your canvas you have a transparency icon. If we click this to enable transparency, then next time we enter HD mode, you'll notice that you have your HD sculpting region, but the rest of the model will be transparent. This can be useful because you can actually sculpt and paint through the transparency onto the HD region. And as I mentioned earlier, all of the information that you paint and sculpt now on this HD region can then be converted into a texture map, a normal map, and a displacement map for later use. Once I'm done sculpting and painting in a specific region, I can hit the letter A to exit HD, move my cursor over a new area that I want to work on, and then press A to enter HD for that area. Once you're done working in HD, converting these to maps is very simple. We'll simply exit HD mode, make sure that we're on the highest standard subdivision level, and then in the texture pull down here in the tool palette, press New from Poly Paint. This will extract all of the HD Poly Paint information that we added to the model. And at this point creating a displacement map or a normal map is just as simple. For this example I'll simply create a displacement map. First I'll go to the Geometry submenu and lower my subdivision levels. Then I'll open up the Displacement submenu and click Create Displacement Map. Now all of the HD information that I sculpted into the model during the HD portion will be added to the displacement map.